welcome to the farm guys hey i'm going to take you for a quick little spin around here and i'll show you where we stay when we come down to country victoria where beck's from all righty hey before we kick off into this episode we've got a couple of things to tell you we're going to keep the giveaways coming all year this year throughout our youtube vids aren't we dear we are we're going to keep that rolling we're excited about it it so, is good it's a great way oh. for us to give back to you guys so what are we giving away this time i'm really excited so this time we're giving away as you guys may or may not know we sell a couple of digital products and one of them is this one so it's an ebook i um basically put together we launched it in about september last year um awesome unreal amazing feedback from this um it's all about a how-to guide on how to travel australia from planning to meals health exercise traveling with kids so we're going to give away that as well as one of our budget spreadsheets which is over here so this here is a spreadsheet that enables you to put in all your details how much money you got how long you're going for how much fuel you need uh, and it will tell you whether or not you have enough money to travel and you can adjust your budget to suit so that you know when you hit the road you're not going to be stressed out about cash all right it's really handy so we're going to give away um this one. one of those the ebook the spreadsheet and we're going to keep the merch train rolling so uh whoever wins we're going to have a hat and a stubby cooler even if you don't drink look at that it holds pencils on your fridge okay? <laughs> <laughs> pretty handy like that so um all you have to do is keep watching there'll be a code word later on in this episode just follow the instagram page check out the story box and answer with the code word and we'll send some gear out so enjoy the episode and we'll see you at the end too late so warnable's only 15 minutes away um and the in-laws have got some property out here just with an old dairy that they've done up with power and water it's just good mate we get to hide away doesn't cost us any money in town and it gets pretty silly in town over the Christmas period. Like Warrnambool gets full of people. They've got a couple of big campgrounds down the front there. They get absolutely chockers. So it's nice for us to hide out down here, catch up with the family and um, give the kids a bit of a taste on what uh, life on the farm's all about. We feed the cows, we fix gates, we muck around in the dairy, we do all the farm jobs that the father-in-law saves up for me along the way. So anyway, I'll take you for a spin. Let's go, this is where we park up right. Big hay shed over here, machinery and that sort of stuff. Killer old little shack here. It used to be like a calf shed, then the calves, uh, when they had calves on the dairy farm, they'd keep them in there and feed them up. Uh, we ripped the tinny off out here so we didn't have to drive around town. Pretty good. Park in here, and here's the old dairy. So we can just wander in here. There's a shower and toilet and everything here. I'll show you that. And here's the old dairy here where they used to bring the cows in from out there. They'd pen them up and then bring them through and milk them in there. So there you go. So this here is actually the old vat room. There used to be a big stainless steel vat in there where all the milk from the cows got pumped into there. And then the truck would swing in every day, pull up beside there and pump it into the big steel tanker and take it off to the milk factory. So there you go. But inside we've turned, oh, the, the father-in-law has turned this into a bit of a bedroom with an ensuite and that. So the kids hang out in here a fair bit. There's an antenna on the roof, so we've got good telly. And then over the last few years we've been coming here, I've been doing a few jobs as well. So in here I built like an old workbench or an old office desk and that out of recycled timber. Out here I'll show you, we've done a bit more. There's plumbed in a shower out here so we can have a shower. Um, there's, a, there's a big new water tank out the back all plumbed in off the big hay shed. There's hot water, there's a fridge and power. That's the electric fence kicking for the whole property so we had to teach the kids not to do that. And then come through here, this is another room I worked on. So I did put a new doorway in here, nice window in there and built the throne, mate. So there you go, that goes out to a septic system and also built another workbench here for him with some storage. So there you go. Hey, I like doing that sort of stuff. I can't wait till one day when we get our own place, a bit of a farm or a bit of a property and we can just build an, like an off-grid shed and I can use a heap of recycled stuff and just do and potter around, do all that stuff myself. I really like it, I like it a lot. And then out here is the old dairy, which uh, I'll show you later. We turn that into a swimming pool a bit later, pretty cool idea. And then here, um, the barbecue, got an old oven out of the old house, and then another big workbench. Now what I've done here, I put the barbie on some slides, so we can pull this out and use that. That's a cracker, it's an actual, like I wish I could have that barbecue in my caravan, it is the best, mate. Um, like I said, oven, and then here's another workbench that I built out of recycled stuff from the other farm. Just ripped it all up with some battery tools and a bit of shelving, and there you go. What do you reckon of the farm room? Yeah, I like it. It's good, isn't it? Too yeah. bad we have to go on this town, though. Ah, we are. 
<laughs> we spend a bit of time between here and the caravan park in town once it gets quieter. The only thing about out here is that you sort of, it's only 15 minutes away, but you, we end up being in town every day anyway. We go to the skate park, we go to the beach, we do all those things. So there you go. That's a quick tour of where we stay. I know we get a lot of questions about it. Like what do you guys do? What do you guys do over Christmas and how do you hide out? Well, when we're in Victoria, this is how we do it. There you go. I like it. Beautiful property. I think it's 140 acres, has about 100 cattle on it, and he just uses it to fatten them up. Just breed them as beef stock and sell them back off again. Anyway, a bit of an insight into what we do. Over the next half an hour or so of this episode, I will show you what we get up to while we're hanging out in the farm down in Warrnambool. How are you feeling, mate? Oh my god! Um, <laughs> no, I'm actually relieved to start, to be honest. I feel like I've been preparing for this day for about six months. So, glad it's finally here. Uh, I start at 8. It's 7.30, so I'm going super early. But, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into it. Smashing it out, hitting the road again. Good girl. Mm. How's the ute, mate? I know, this is on driving. How's the day driver? It drives like a beast, too. You, you'll see me flying out of here in a minute. It's like an old, it's a tilt tray that... <laughs> The father-in-law uses to uh, transport hay and stuff around. So this whole tray tilts up. But... Bye, I love you. See ya. Oh. See you, Starvo. See ya. I feel like I'm running out of time. <laughs> oh, you ready to wave a goodbye, Bezzy? Are you going to miss mum, you reckon? Yep. Yep. We'll have Lucky. some fun. Lucky. I get the bubble gum today. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Look out, stay out of the way here. You might take it for a ride on the motorbike today, Bez. Boom! You remember how to drive a manual? <laughs> well, there we talk, she's still all the way. Oh. Bye! And it's got no reverse camera. Oh dear. <laughs> Bunny hop around the town. I have I haven't driven a manual in years. No, long time. Anyway, she pokes. She really pokes this. I love it. Bye, dear. Bye, I love you. Bye, Bye Bessie. Have fun. Bye. Bye. There you go. That's Mummy. Go on. Hey, she's off to unpaid labour. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that's probably the worst part about this whole thing, is that it's all unpaid. She was getting some bit of Kembla Grange for it. It wouldn't matter if she was doing a bit of work, but six weeks unpaid. We're going to feed the cows, mate. Can you carry that? Yeah. There you go. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Here they come. Here they come. Look at them. <laughs> feed me. Hey, who's this one here? Oh, there's Darcy. I can't see the tags. Here. There's Charlie over oh, here. There's mine. Oh, there's Jack here with the backwards tag. This one's Elkie. These are all the cousins, or all my nephews and nieces. And here's this one at the back. Archie's coming in. And here's Ali. There you go. Where's Billy? Oh, I think this is you here, Bill. Oh, that's Charlie. Jack. I think Billy's oh, here. I don't know if Billy's here. Oh, there he is. No, this is Billy here. Second one in on the end here, Bill. Yeah, I'll come away, let, let them get up here, get around. I'm trying to keep them a bit sort of friendly so we can pat them, but they're, they're still a bit wary of us, even when they're feeding. They might get better as we stay a bit longer. Yeah. Aren't they good looking cattle? There you go. There you go. That's your calves, boys. That's your job for the next six weeks. Feed the cows, you reckon you can handle that? I can't even want to stay here for six weeks. I know. Look at them, they love it. Hey, look, spiders coming around. Oh, this one here, Archie's waiting. Come on, move back so we can come around. They all want to get in the send you. Come on, come around and have a feed. <laughs> there you go, a five. Well done, bro. Come up. Yeah, the lads want to show you what it's not just a hay feeder. Look at this, it's a set of monkey bars. That's wicked, isn't it? Hey? <laughs> So this one here, this will be for these big round bales when they start using those. But I'm going to have to use this square one here 
to feed out this stuff that's left over here. So let's go and do it. All right, boys, jump in the tractor. Ooh, I'm we'll go down and feed these cows, eh? Do you want to get the gate, Bill? Sweet, mate. Now yeah, it's time for the fun part, Rui. Really. Hey? Hang on to this, mate. Does that mean I get to drop this once they realise it's going in? I'll come running over, I think. <laughs> Gotta lift it up. Drop it in along the side of this feeder here. Drop it. One done. Come on, come out. We'll cut it open and wait for him to come over. Why do we need to cut it open? Well, because it's got bailing <laughs> twine around that holds it together. Oh, I got it for my sister to get out. Hi. Oh, I'm very sorry. She's very, very interrupting and bumpy and, you, you know, sister stuff. Just like that sister life. It's kind of annoying. And this is why Dad said he would need a knife. There's one. I can't remember how many there are. I haven't done it for a while. There's, There's two. Like, at least like 15. There's three. You know what happens if you leave the string on there? The bloody cows just eat it and it gets stuck in their guts. Which then cross the farmer's vet bills and stuff. So anyway, let's find the... Where's the last one? Hey, here we go. You got them all, boys? Yep, I think. Count them up. We're gonna pull them through the other way in here. Look at me! I'm the king of the world. Well, that's split. Here they are. They've figured it out. Look at them. Big bullocks. Geez, they've got some solid sides in them. Hey. Eh? <laughs> you know, now they've found that one, kids. As soon as we bring the next one through, they're gonna be straight onto us. They'll be like charging over. Do you reckon? Yeah. So. Yeah. Look at them. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> First one done, lads. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, brother. High five. Yeah. Yum. You guys are lucky. Oh, kiddos, they look amazing. Oh. Look at that cheesy goodness. Oh man. Who's the best? Dad. Yeah. Hey, tell me that joke you told me before. Uh, what, who do you call a lady who farts? Um, Mum. Yeah. <laughs> she is so she's only been gone a day I haven't been that bad have I yeah. look at her speeding in oh, the work you. come on let's go and get her don't run around there she'll probably run over you here she's going over. <laughs> wait here we can wave when she comes past ready wait here wait here hey mum <laughs> hi dear hi, yeah don't run into that wall Oh, she nearly hit the logs I put there. You're kidding, aren't you? Please don't run into the car either. Oh, how are you? Oh my God, I miss you guys. How was your first day, mate? Of course. Hi, Mum. Hi. Oh, look at this. It's only been 12 hours. Anyone would think they'd had the worst day ever. No. We've had a mad day, haven't we? Yes. Oh, there you go, Mum. Aww. Oh, cuddles. Huh? We would miss you at the show if you went to work. <laughs> I'm never going to work. This is too good. Yeah. yeah. Oh. There you go. So how was it, mate? How was your first well, day? Well, it's just orientation today. So it's like, yeah, you do all your orientation stuff. And because, like, COVID's crazy at the minute, there's all these new restrictions and PPE and everything. So, um, yeah. 
There you go. go. Cruzy David. Yeah, it was a Cruzy David. It's you know, in your draining. head. Yeah. Yeah. I've got a so headache. Much info. So I'm going to go. I think I'm going to. I just realised today marks 10 days since I've had a drink. Well, there you go. So you I'm going to have a glass of wine. Happy days. I know. Celebrate your first day. Yep. It's uh, so nice. I'm going to have a good time, I think. I met met the um, <laughs> the people I'm working with. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice people? Yeah, really nice people. It's good. Lucky yeah. otherwise we'd bag them out on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> we wouldn't do that, would we? Oh, I love you. I oh, well, I'll, um, I'll pour you a glass of wine and let you get inside. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, I haven't had a kiss yet. Oh. <laughs> Oh, here we go. This is one of Beck's favourites. So, the old Whistler dries a bone. Nice celebratory, celebratory, celebratory glass of wine. Take the GoPro out of the fridge as well. For a first day. Hey, geez, I'm a good husband. You all need to message her and say what a lucky woman she is. Hey. Here we go. And the van's clean. I was just about to say, <laughs> my pet hate is coming home to like, I've not told them all about it. Yeah, okay. Tomorrow I'm gonna so, I'm gonna do all the things she hates, and when she gets home, I'll show you the same reaction. Won't be this good, will it? No. Here so you go, thank my love. you for keeping. You want this one? Yeah, that's fine. So thank you for keeping my van tidy. That's well okay. done. Hey, good teamwork. You deserve it. Work a bee. <laughs> <laughs> Work It'll a be bee. a big glass of wine. If you're not, stop it up. I'll, I'll probably just have one, and I'll be done. Oh, mm. No, I won't. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Hey, we always get asked how much washing fits on our line and how much fits in the washing machine. So our washing machine's a two kilo mini daewoo. And I normally, this is three loads of washing. So three two kilo loads. And I, I think they say you're only supposed to like half do it, but I jam that thing in like I shove everything in there. <laughs> um, so I, the best way to describe it is like, that's two kilos of washing, that's one load, that's one load, and this is another load. Oh, so, it's on each side. yeah, so it works well, and I normally do that about every, I would say, three days. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so, how much we can fit in it, how long does it take, and yeah. what sort of job does it do? Well, it does an okay job. Yeah. Like, it, we won't get like really good stains out, but. It washes your clothes and they smell nice, basically. Right, but so this is... let's kick off with what it is. Oh, it's a mini, mini Daewoo. Yeah, which is a two kilo washing machine. Oh, I reckon it's two and a half. It's not, it's two. I don't know. Anyway, so it's a two kilo washing machine, so you just power it on, super easy. And here's all your wash cycles. So I just actually go to a quick wash and do a 15 minute quick wash, and you just hit the start button. Now, there's but two I... reasons we do that. One is because it's fast, and the other one is because... We're water saving. Yeah. So I think it's about 22 litres versus, you might know that. Something. Yeah, something like that. Oh, Justin might put the specs yeah. in for so you. So the quicker the wash, the less water you use. <laughs> so we can get away with about 22 litres a wash if we just use uh, the quick wash. Mm. But it, it, to be honest, it does do a better job if you want to do it on an intensive wash. Yeah. It just sort of does the or same just, thing, but it does it four times. Yeah, or just your normal cold wash. It's, yeah. It does do a bit bit better job. If you're at a caravan park and yes. you want to do a good wash on some things, put it on intensive Which is a bit wash. rare for us. We, it we're, is. And we can use this free camping, so yeah. 15 minutes is good. Now, before you open this up, because I know where you're going, but we designed this. I don't, want to, I don't want you to look in here. It's a bit of a mess. That's all right. But we designed our laundry drawer. We did. So that was one of my big pet hates about caravanning is there's nowhere to put your dirty laundry. Yeah. So, and I know a lot of people like chuck theirs in the washing machine and store it there, which I think is a really cool idea. Oh, yeah, it's not big but, enough though. We run yeah, out of for room. us, as a family of five, that just doesn't work. And, and so, honestly, the kids can't even reach the damn thing anyway. In the so. past, we used to have the first van I like built like a little timber grate beside the oh, toilet. Oh yeah, that worked really we well. We used to chuck stuff down. The second one, we had a, like a collapsible one we used to keep in the shower, which was a pain in the ass. That was very annoying because it would get out wet all yeah. the time. And so this design has come from experience. Yes. Show them, dude. I really I love it. like it. And it's worked a treat. So it's just here. There you go, hidden away, another drawer. There you go. The I kids can you. get to it easy or they dump them on the floor here and I put them in. Um, but they, they're they pretty good. They know to put their... Actually, do you know who's worse? It's Justin, actually. <laughs> he leaves his crap on the floor. I do it on purpose just to annoy him. Yeah, and the, but the kids generally put their stuff in here. But what I'm going to do is show you how much two kilos of washing is. Yeah. So Justin's t-shirt, my shorts, my t-shirt, Charlie's t-shirt, Billy's shorts, Jack's shorts. Um... Oh, 
whose t-shirts are my one of the kids. kids. How many jacks? What else have we got in here? I'm trying to just put I'll put a counter on this screen here too to tell you how many things we've put in yeah. here because I've forgotten already. I know, I don't know either. Um, pair of undies. But generally, Beck kind of overfills it, but I it do. still works. But you sort of want to fill it so it's three quarters full looking through the hole. See, I would still keep going. Yeah, I would stop there. Uh, I find it washes better at the less stuff you have in it. Yeah, it does. But I get really impatient. I'm like, oh, just jam that stuff in. So that's, what are you going to keep going? Yeah, I'll do one more. Oh, one more. There you go. So there you go. If you see yeah. that space there, get your hand in there and wriggle that around a bit or I'll do it. If you can, there's still, it's not jam-packed, you can push it around a bit. And if you wanted to, you can sort of tap that down. So you've got a bit of space at the top there, see that? So I, I still think that's okay. I wouldn't want to put too much more in or it wouldn't wash too well. And this is how we... Um, you pull that little cup out of there. And we just use standard liquid. What you can do, you don't even have to pull that out. Sometimes you can just put a cap of fluid in and tip it in. Yeah, you can washing. actually. I don't know, I've always done it that way. I think yeah, it's your best off using that because you only use a small amount of detergent. Yeah, so I free pour. Yeah, so there you go. All right, so we shut that. Go to our cycle. Hit start. And away you go. You can hear the water going in. And it actually does take just 15 minutes. Yeah, it does. 15 minutes. It'll... And it's good then I whack my other load in and then yep. I leave it all in my little... This is my washing bag. So I just got a little bag like yeah. that and I just chuck it all in here once I've done my fourth or third load I take it all out to my clothesline. The only thing they do is um if you're in a caravan park with neighbours what do you need to do when the washing machine's on there? Put your legs down. Put your stabilizer legs down otherwise they think something a bit funky's going mm, on inside don't they? When some bands going oh <laughs> <laughs> when Justin and I have to go and stand outside because so I'm it's like not suspicious. people are walking past going what's going on in there? Well, there you go. Thanks, dear. Hot tip for your washing. Yes, I, I hope you enjoyed that. that. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Um, anyway. what, what's your next one? We're going to create a little series around you and your Are hot we? tips. Yeah. Okay. Have you got any more? Hot tips? I don't know. It, let me know. Oh, actually, do you know I've been getting a lot of questions is where we store our clothes. So go. maybe I'll do that next next time. All right. But let me know if you've got any, anyone, any yeah, hot keep tips. Keep talking. It looks like Charlie's doing it. Let me know if you've got any hot tips. Okay? I would love to know. I really would. Oh my god. Yeah. Alright, say bye bye, Mum. Bye bye. <laughs>
<laughs> Look at that. <laughs> There's whipped cream, Billy. It's gone. There's your whipped cream. Yay! Perfect uh, cookie. Yum. Yum. Look at that. How good's that? Oh, dig in, bud. Happy birthday, yeah, Billy! Happy birthday, <laughs> Billy. Hook in, mate. Let's get a look at Get here. a big gob full of that. Hey, there, look up at me. Look up. Oh, a little smile, Bill. Little smile. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Happy Bill. Happy birthday, Bella. darling. Thanks. All right, we're going to do another job. Hey, kids, yeah. you ready to do this job or what? Yeah. All right, we're going to go and cut a tree down. Well, we've already cut it down. We've got to go and clean it up and drag it up bits for firewood. So I've got a bit of a list here. <laughs> I've got farm jobs, car and van jobs, trip and van jobs, and videos. Um, one of these jobs is firewood and tree. I'm going to fix the gates and I'm going to fix the 12 volt pump on his sprayer on the back of his motorbike. So we'll go down, I'll grab a couple of slings, um, and I'll just cut this tree and drag it back up because um, we've had a heap of rain. And I think if I take the car and the trailer down, I'm probably going to get stuck. See if it goes. See if it goes. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Let's try it again. Hey! Ready? Zap! Did I get ya? Scare ya? No? See you later! I reckon the quad's got to pull it all the way up the hill. It'll mm. be too heavy, so we're going to cut it in half. Yeah, so we're going to chop half of it. Probably about here? Yep. Uh, I, reckon, I reckon just about here. I reckon mm. here will be, and then we can tie the rest up. There you go. Choked. Choked. And then we'll have to... Um, Put it to the... Let's hook it up to the here. Right here, right here. Right here. Right on, away we go. Stop. Come on with us. Here it comes. Good job. Well done, Ray. Right? I think these cows think I'm pulling some food along or something. They started following us. There you go, Ru, last one. You. Job and knock. All right, so we've got a few more jobs to do today. Me and Ru are going to drive the ute down. We're going to go and pick up some trees that we cut down a while ago that fell over in a storm. And the squeeze here is going to ride the motorbike. We're going to just put a brand new battery in it for us so she doesn't have to pull start anymore. All right, you know where you're going? We're out to the back. Yeah. Yep. Lead the way. Bye. Hang on, Charlie Bear. I am. Hang it on. Hey, we've got kids everywhere. We've what got a steer, Rui. Really. I'm doing the clutch and the gas. Rui's doing the steering. You good with that? Yeah. You follow Mum. <laughs> Why can't we go see, oh, see if we can get there in one piece, eh? How good's learning to drive when you're a young fella, eh? Right? Yeah. So good. I didn't grow up on a farm, but I grew up on five acres. And uh, I can't remember how old I was, but my first car was an old, I think it was a 79 Corolla, rear wheel drive one. And uh, we used to fang that around the paddock, a hey, little manual. It was so good. But before that, Dad had always let me drive up the beach on holidays or when we're doing work around the yard and that, and he'd let me drive around. And, practice reversing the trailer and all that sort of stuff. So I think it's something that kids miss a lot these days, eh? I think you're pretty lucky, Rui. You can get through this gate here. Yep. All right, you might have to... Oh, you're doing well. That's it, now straighten up a bit. Yes, well done, through the gate, bro. Well done. <laughs> High five. Right. Ah, keep your hands on the steering wheel. <laughs> yeah, hey, girls, I'll put this up here and we can see what Oh, old Mark Magoo can do. Oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna like that. Here we go. Come on, muscles. Come on, muscles. Like a reindeer. What? <laughs> oh, yes, she does. She's funny. I got tired from five minutes because I'm That's an old one! That's that one! That's an old one! That's an old one! That's Billy's turn now. Hey, you driving? Yeah. Good job, boss. You follow mum home, eh? 
There we go. Now, Howie, the good thing about this ute is it's a, a tipper. It's got a little cylinder under the back, so you just have to pull the controller out and hit the button and it tips the trailer up. So, stay where, babe? When? Out there? Yeah. Up she goes. How easy is this, mate? <laughs> All good? Yeah, we're sorted. Ripper. Hey, um, before we kick off schoolwork, let's go and measure ourselves on the oh, wall. Oh, first day of school. See how big it is this year. Daisy, you're up first. Go on. If you haven't seen this before, um, oh. we've got a decal, but what do you reckon the hot tip is? Don't get white. Yeah, don't get a white one. Have Look at this. Out. This is from Cape York. All Top these like. There, Look how filthy it is. Oh, it's a bit gross. Anyway, you can anyway. remove this and stick it anywhere. You can. But, uh, anyway, right I back? think we'll get a black one next time. Right All, right, All right, here we go. Here's the pen, Mum. How tall are you, Daisy? Okay. Oh, shit, I just hit my head. Uh, oh, no, no. Move away, Bear. Oh, shit. Oh, look at that. What are you? 112. 100, no, 113. 10, 11. <laughs> yeah, probably 113. 113 centimetres. What's the date? First. Uh, first of February. First, second, 21. All right, who's next? Billy, boy. <laughs> Billy, look at you go. Hey? What's the date? Oh, I keep saying that. First. I didn't write Charlie. Now, there, you know, the I? good thing about this is um, we've done this in all our vans, but we've never had a sticker before. So every time we change vans, we lose our height chart. I know. We have to clean it off the but wall. But we took photos of them. So one day I'm going to do like a gigantic one and log them all. Dude, that's his writing. <sighs> oh, Jacko. You're not even that tall yet. That, mate. You're not even that. <laughs> Your feet right back, darling. Yeah. All right, head straight. That's it. Boom. So you're. 137. Yeah. Whoa. Look at you. Up All right, here. the real Jack. I wish we knew when we started, I reckon Jack was oh. down here. Where were you? I reckon Jack was about 90 centimetres when we started caravanning. Oh, yeah, he was tiny. Well, you were three. So there you go. So where was Charlie when she was three? She was oh, tiny. No, she's not on here. She couldn't even walk. All right, <laughs> let's go. Time for school. Get into it. Yeah. Yay! Right idea, kick it off. Where's okay. the schoolwork lift? So for us, we like to keep it pretty accessible. So we pop our schoolwork in here. Um, we've got a heap of jackets and things up there at the minute and blankets, but here's their blue bags that are sent to us in the mail to an address that we give their teacher every few weeks. And you can take yours if you like. There you go, Bear. That's, so that's Charlie. This is her first blue bag. So that's everything gets sent out to us, and then once the work's completed, we return it in the yep, same Yeah, so you bag. just flip this over, it's reply pay postage, and you just send it back. There you go. But I'll show you what's in it in a sec. This is my first blue bag. Yeah, Yay. you're in prep this year, buddy. Well, they prepping. call it kindergarten, because you, we're going through a New South Wales. But, yeah. but you're, you're preppy. In New South Wales, they call it kindergarten, but it's actually prep. Yeah. <laughs> I went to kindergarten when I was three or four. Yeah. Four and three. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> welcome Hi. back. Hi, Hello, Jack. Hello, Billy. And hello Hi, and welcome, Jenny. Charlie. <laughs> How exciting. Hi. Charlie, today you are an official member of the Diamond Class, although you've always been a member of the Diamond Class, haven't you? <laughs> How exciting. Jack. We are in year three. Billy, oh, we are in year two. Dude, and Charlie, dude, our first dude. day today of kindergarten. <laughs> which I already know. I can already hear you going, no, it's prep. It's not kindergarten. Yeah. I know. Remember, in uh, New South Wales here, we call prep kindergarten. I know I'm going to annoy you with that. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my God, God. you should know you too well. Day. All right, we'll give us a look what's inside, bud. Okay, so this is Jack's bag. So I'm Close just going to put... No, so that's Jack's, Jack's bag. <laughs> she sends a bit of craft. So we normally have a bit of craft in the four weeks, generally, that she sends. We get a ton of yes! books. Oh, you got a good book. Yes. Love the Billy Brand ones. So we got a heap of books here, maybe like 10, 10 books or so and readers. Oh, my God, Jack, you got an award. <gasps> oh, oh yeah, look, what does it say? Yay. It says, fantastic senses, senses poem. poem on the Australian Christmas. Making us crave candy canes. There you go. Well done, mate. Well done, high five. Add that to the collection. Hey, I'll give you a hot tip. You know what the diamond's for? It's because they're all in diamond class. Yes. So they're oh. going to hold it over their face. Oh, right. Take That's a photo what it, oh, there. for their teacher. There you go. Smile to put on the wall. 
Next thing we get is this here. You can see it says USB on it. So the kids yeah. get a USB sent to them. Um, they all got their own USB. So we can plug it into the computer and they can get some lessons sent by their teacher. So like, um, um, yeah, like oh, little tutorials or and slideshows, yeah, videos. videos. There's heaps of stuff on there and whatever's relevant to their learning that they're doing at the time. So that is super handy. Yeah, which is good. It takes all the guesswork out of it for yeah, us. That's the best part about it. It is. And sometimes it's just nice for them to have a different Mama. way of learning. Other from I, I, other than from us. Can make friendship bracelets and Oh wow, you've got some cool craft, yeah. Hey, anyway, so this is Jack's um, first set for the oh. year. So they get sent one of these blank books that's do all their writing in for the next month. Um, and then oh you're straight into week two. No, week one's in here. Oh there you go. Yep. So this is all their learning that he does for the week. Yeah. Pretty easy, we just follow it week it by is. week. It's so good. And then they might have another area to work on, like geography or history or shapes what or whatever. So, um, yeah. And we get that week two, three, and four. And then we pop it back in the blue bag, we flip this over, and send it back to Port Macquarie. There you go. And the distance provider we go through is called NEPSO, so Northeast School of Public Distance Education. And they are Port Macquarie based, so... You got that wrong. Did I? Yeah. Northeast School. You said school. Northeast School, that's Ness. Oh, Northeast Public School <laughs> yes. of Distance Education. Yeah. So anyway, they're based in Port Macquarie. We've been with them, this will be our third year yeah. with them. And it's pretty cool. Charlie's in prep this year. Billy, what year are you, bud? Two. Year two, Jacko. Year three. three. Yeah. three. You know what the best thing is? You've all got the same T teacher. Teacher, yeah. Miss Jade, teacher, who we've had oh, since thought, the very first day. I thought day. you meant we've all got the same work. No, different no, work. Different work. Yeah. But rel like all the same, but it it's based at different levels, if yes. that makes sense. But anyway, just to add to, we also have a live oh, lesson, which we'll try and tack into this episode for you and see them kind of oh, doing that with Miss Jade. Thing. So we have ours on a Wednesday, which is really nice because it breaks up the week and they chat with her, all oh, three of them, for about an hour and a half. Uh, one at a time too. Yes, yeah. one at a time. So they get half an hour each. And um, yeah, just go through a few things and they love having their life lessons. So, and if we can't make it, we just reschedule it. Perfect. Happy days. Look at right. this. That's a bit of a rundown. Let's get into it. Hey? Week one, day one. We've got three now. Three kids that we have to school ourselves on the road. Three. <laughs> you know what? I always say it, Beck, but what's the only saving grace for us is the fact that our kids don't know. Any difference? Yeah, that's it. Down. They only know distance ed. They only know distance ed, yeah. So I really, I'm not that I feel, but I think a lot of others that have kids Jack's age or nine, yeah. ten year olds that are leaving a school to go and travel and do this, I think you'd, it would be a bit more of an bit adjustment. More, yeah, it would be a challenge, yeah. yeah. But I think this time, because we've got the three kids, um, Ooh, normally one of us do, does the schooling cool. with the boys, cool. but now I've got Charlie in here, just deviating away from me. No, I'm just um, you. I think at this stage easier. what we're going to do is Justin's going to do the boys inside and we've got the um, table and chairs outside and yeah. I'm going to sit with Charlie and do her schooling because they're at completely different levels. Charlie's literally learning to read and write, whereas the boys have that already going. Yeah. So. Plus we're just, we're limited with space. We can't actually yeah. fit three kids here doing schoolwork. And it gets it quite loud work. when there's three of you, or five of us, yeah. sitting here doing schoolwork. So it's going to be a bit of trial and error for the next few weeks. We'll figure out but what works. Yeah, and we'll, we'll let you know. Ah, well there you go. I have not used a lawnmower in about I'm reckoning at least two and a half years and I kind of forgot how to do it. I choked it out a few times, stalled it, forgot to empty the catcher. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's definitely not something I actually miss about having a home, is mowing the lawn. I used to enjoy it. I remember I used to enjoy it at our last place in Newcastle. I had a mint lawn, I used to look after it real good, but I'll tell you, after doing it today at the farm, uh, I'm not going to miss it after six weeks here. Pretty dressed, dear. Thank you. Hey. It's unlike you to. I've never seen you look so good hanging the washing out. <laughs> it's so funny when you're out on the farm, you get like a little bit excited to go into town. And you <laughs> typically wear something a bit nicer than normal. Yeah. So weird. So, what we're doing, oh, I just hit my chin on the way through. Good thing about being close to Warrnambool is where Beck's parents are, right? Now we take the kids in 
one at a time or in twos or threes sometimes and they all have a sleep over now and then so it's pretty good good for them to have time away from us and um, good for us to have time away from them but today it's the boys turn they're gonna go in Jack and Billy and they're gonna spend the night with Granny and Poppy and um, we'll do something special with Charlie we'll get her something on the way home we'll watch a movie we can hang out and play a game of Uno just her or, you know just do stuff one on one we've seen if you've watched our vids you've seen it we do it while we're on the road as well we take the boys away or we do shopping trips on their own and that sort of thing so it's just a way of keeping that up and they enjoy it they're pumped they're packing their bags inside they've got their own little backpack and they're all keen to go to granny's mate they are they really are and it's just so nice their little personalities shine when they're one-on-one -on -one. it's just really nice nice to do that together because charlie third child honestly hasn't really had much one-on-one -on -one time so who's your favorite favorite child yeah. at the moment um <laughs> billy's been on his supposed to say you well, have a favorite i don't have a favorite but you've billy's got, been you've, you've got a bad habit of having oh, something in your teeth every time bloody I smoothies to oh I think it's sorry a seed. Yeah. yeah it would be um no i do love all three of my children very much but billy has just been on wicked best behavior lately so Ooh, good man bill he's our fave <laughs> oh, all right sleep over time boys you, yeah, you excited or what? Yeah, yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, yeah, I know you're there. What, um, what are you going to do at Granny and Pops? I don't know. A lot of things. We're going to play with our next door neighbours, Lenny and Edward. Oh, there you go. So you reckon Pop and Granny will get a run or are you just going to be out next door the whole time? Mm -hmm. Over next door the whole time. Got your toothbrush, Jack? Uh, Got your five pairs of undies? I bring one pair. Has cause... Jack got a toothbrush, Mum? I saw Trey playing with it before. He doesn't have it. He took it. No. Took it off me. Where's your toothbrush, boss? Can't go out without a toothbrush. That's her fault. No! Oh. She was she playing in a big it. room! Well, I could, I could live on a farm, but I couldn't be a farmer. We could if live on a sense. hobby farm. Well, absolutely. Like when we decide to um, go to part-time travels, I don't like the word settle because that just doesn't sit well with me. Um, we want to do, do like a little hobby farm. So we want to have chooks and run a couple of cattle and have a veggie patch and what else? I have a dam. Yeah. Yeah, grow veggies and yeah. a few cows and chooks. And yeah, like That's our said, plan. Just potter around, if live off grid, mate. If there's any farmers on the Sunshine Coast that would like to give up a little bit of land. Oh, we'd buy it. Yeah, yeah, we'd buy it, obviously. We just want about five acres. In the middle of, like, another 50 acres. <laughs> you can have the other 45. We just yeah. want a barrier between any neighbours and us. But it has no. to be within 15 minutes to the beach. Yeah. Not asking much, am I? Ha, ha, ha. That's where it gets tough. I know. It's 15 minutes to the beach. Yeah, I it's anyway, so hot in here. It is, we'll just turn the AC on. Ciao. We've got a scorching day of 26 degrees here in Warrnambool. 29 it says. Really? Yeah. Oh, no wonder I'm hot. Alright, hey, I've got two jobs I want to show you today. Um, one is clean the van. Two is get some scratches out of the damn window. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. One I've tried already. So this one I tried on the windows yesterday. Well, it comes up a treat, mate. I got it from Super Cheap. It's about, it's not dear, it's not cheap, sorry. It's about 25 bucks. But um, I tried it first with the microfiber cloth, right? And it worked okay. Got some scratches out. You can't, it's hard to pick up in the camera. And then um, I went and borrowed a buffer off a mate in Warrnambool because um, I borrowed it last time we were here to polish the car. Um, and I knew we had one, so I went and got it. And I'll tell you, in like under 10 minutes, bought these windows up a schmicko and they were super scratched now the scratches are still there you can still see them but it definitely made a massive improvement so I'm gonna go around and do all the windows and I'll show you on the other side how it's done this here is the buffer so it's a proper one it's a Meguiar's one so it's meant for car polishing and that sort of stuff I've got two pads the red ones like a really really fine sort of oh, scouring pad like obviously a bit of a polishing pad and this one's just a buffing pad so I use um, this one first to do the polishing I'll try and get the scratches out of it and then I'll do the buffing one and then I'll wipe it off with a microfiber towel and it comes up pretty much like brand new it's pretty nice but then all you have to use is a bit of this stuff put it across the pads 
Do this a few times each window, and they come up bloody nice, mate. I'll give you a look. Hang on. How good is that? Come and check this out. That looks like a bloody new window, hey? Yes, you can still see if I can catch the light the right way. A couple of minor scratches still in there. But look at that compared to say, I don't know that. Still don't know if you can actually pick that up in the camera. Look at all those scratches. Like all them continued down through here. And as soon as they hit the plastic, they're gone. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Well, there you go. I can tell you from personal experience that that stuff is worth the 25 bucks. Oh, right, oh, it's time to cook the kids' chicken beer. Come and have a look at this. Looks like fish, hey? Comes up awesome, and it's so good. Just snap you out of it and keep trying to pinch on it. <laughs> uh, I get the wraps, bit of cheese, bit of chicken, a um, little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Can you believe it? Our kids actually like salt and pepper. It's crazy, eh? Well, all kids love salt. Um, but not, not a lot of them like tomato, but it really does. So, Jackaroo can have a bit of tomato. You put a bit of aioli, because chicken sticks and those chicken tenders aioli are wicked. A bit of lettuce. And then we wrap it up. And I'll show you a bit of a treat, a trick we use with our kids because all kids are hopeless and they drop everything. You wrap it up and then you use a little bit of alfoil there and wrap it around the bottom. Keep it together. That way it doesn't unroll on them and they can just smash into it. So there you go. Rui, dinner's up. Swing in here, I want to show you this as well. Um, yeah, it's just a tow hitch, but what it is, um, Cruise Master bought out a new DO45. So they used to have one 45 that we had on the van when we first got it. Uh, awesome hitch, but probably a little bit agricultural, you know, a bit old school and chunky and that. What they've done is they've redesigned it, the 45 to look exactly like the 35. So it's super easy to use, streamlined, um, same bolt pattern, and it's got a nice, it's even got a, a bigger um, hitch pin there as well. Tapered as well, so it's easy to hook up. These just roll on, you can don't have to be like dead center in alignment, you can be a little bit off and they'll still slide over nice and easy. So it's easy to hook up, still retains all the um, full 360 swivel. Go this, Roo, see this? Fully spins, so they're a true off-road hitch, articulates all the way that way, plus it goes all the way this way. Great hitch, I would never use anything else other than a 35 or a 45 after towing with them. Um, and all you have to do is like any sort of standard coupling, even if you've got a 50 mil ball coupling, they retain the same bolt pattern. So all you got to do is unbolt the old one, bolt on the new one, make sure you torque these bolts up and away you go. You've got a new hitch and then just change your hitch pin out on your, on your tongue as well. But yeah, this one also have a look through, it's got an inbuilt handbrake on it. So the handbrake attachment is part of the hitch. There you go. But if you're looking for an off-road hitch, you probably won't need a 45 because you won't have a four and a half ton van like ours. Even though ours, actually, I'll tell you, because people ask us all the time, fully loaded with all our gear and full water tanks, our van weighs 3.7 ton. So we know we're near the four and a half ton, uh, but to get the engineering done to four ton is the same as it is to four and a half ton. So you might as well get it plated four and a half ton. Anyway, there you go, bit of handy info. But they've got a 45, that's killer. And if you only got a three and a half ton van, get the 35. You can thank me later. Ah, righto, now it's, um, it's time for home economics, hey? With the kindergarten, or prep. <laughs> <laughs> with the preppy. In uh, New South Wales, they call it kindergarten. They do, we've been through that. That's why they said first day of kindergarten. But she loves it, her little crown, she's pretty stoked with it. <laughs> but now, um, she's my little helper when we're cooking. Bex at um, work again. The boys are outside <laughs> fighting with sticks and throwing balls at each other. So me and Bex, uh, me and Charlie, <laughs> Okay. I'm gonna make something. It's called zucchini slice. Yeah. I got it. Um, it's one of my mum's recipes. We've been making it for years, but we haven't done it for a while. And um, 
that's what I'd show you guys because you can do it in the web or you can do it in your oven. Um, whatever you want to do. <laughs> but it's bloody nice and it's this healthy. Is my hat now. That with a bit of salad, we can eat it cold, you can have it for lunch, do whatever. Now, but what are you going to do? Now, this is my hat. It is your hat. This We're going to have a few zucchinis, right? We're going to grate those up in a bowl. A cup of cheese, a cup of flour. Um, oh, probably, I don't know. Six rashes of bacon or something. And you put a bit of vegetable oil in. And you're also, Bezzy, I'm missing something. I know I'm missing something. Eggs. And we grate cheese. Eggs. So you've got to put um, five eggs in it as well. Whisk them up and put it in. Come on! We stir it all up and we put it in this tray over here. Uh, usually I use baking paper, but we've run out, so I've oiled up some alfoil um, so it doesn't stick. So we'll get cracking. We'll mix this up, Bearsy, and we'll show them how it's done. What do you reckon? <laughs> Hello. 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 There you go. Watch your fingers, but no, hold that on the on the ground. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> you know what I've done. You know what? Biggest mistake ever. Read that. Does that say zucchini? <laughs> no. What the say? bloody cucumbers, you're joking. Hey, what do we got, Bear? Zucchini! <laughs> we've been to the shop and we've got some zucchinis. And now, um, I had an idea while I'm there. I don't know if it's going to be a good one or a bad one. But I bought some puff pastry and I'm going to put that on the bottom of it so it's sort of like a zucchini but slice it's not a zucchini. pie, right? Oh. It works in my head, the idea. Whether or not it turns out, well, we'll see. Oh, okay. that's all carrot. Jack and Billy have cracked an egg on the floor. Yeah, they have, haven't they? Oh. You're all going to learn somewhere. That's done. We're going to pour our mixture yeah, in. back in on top. <gasps> Holy! Mm. That looks delicious. It doesn't look good. Put it back up so this sticks. There you go. That is my zucchini slice. Are you actually ready? Yes. Do you think it's worked out? Yes. Yeah. Have a look at I this. Oh my goodness. Mm. At your dinner. No, no, no. Look. Oh, look at that. Even the pastry's worked. Wow. No. Quietly proud of myself. Mate, would you look at that. that? And that, my friends, is my zucchini and carrot slice with a little twist of puff pastry. And look at that. It has worked an absolute treat. Hey, come in here. I want to show you this. It's called an anti-rattle hitch shim kit. That's a lot of words to take in. But what it does, super simple. I know Toyotas are pretty bad for it, but if you've got your hitch here, have a look at that, Roo. When it goes in, if you've got a bit of this, see that? A bit of slop going on. All you have to do, I got this on eBay, right? It's only 30 bucks from Mr. Hitches. But you get a couple of stainless shims. So then you put, they've got holes in them so you can still slide your hitch lock through them. But then slide that through there, slide one down on the bottom and another one on the side, like so. And then when you put your hitch in, it takes up all the slot. So what I figure is the best way to do it, slide your hitch in like so and um, put the one in the bottom that doesn't need anything. Slide that one in underneath so that'll go in with that one. Then the ones in the side go in. So make sure you line the hole up that goes through your hitch lock. So that'll go this way, across the top and the front. Put him in there. And then the other side will feed in here like this. Get them all in and then put your hitch in. And away you go. Then your hitch pin or your lock 
will still feed straight through. And there you go. Okay? And that now stops. See that? It's nothing like it was. There's still a little bit of movement there, which is fine, but it's not slapping around and clunking and that. You know? It's not going to do any dramas, you know. We towed it for oh, the first 10,000 Ks without the shims, but it's definitely nicer. It's not as sloppy. And um, when you're not towing, if you leave your hitch in, you don't get that sort of clanging and banging around when you're on a bit of off-road tracks. This isn't slopping around. So there you go. Thought you might like that. Just a bit of a handy hint. Anti-rattle shim kit. Okay? I only seen it. I seen someone else use them on one day, and I'm like, what are those things? Like, what a bloody great idea. So... There you go, it's one of my hot tips. Righto, Jackie boy, we've had a good idea. Can you tell everyone about it? Look at the Darius Ross swimming pool! Goodness me, slow it down a bit. <laughs> um, Dad was messaging Pop and um Pop said we could clean out the dairy, which looks very filthy for a few from a few years, and turn it into a pool. So we're gonna have a pool because it's so <laughs> hot. So what we're gonna do. <laughs> It is, oh, careful. It's so hot today, I don't know. It's gotta be 36 or something, and down here, it's got a stinking hot northerly or oh, westerly, it whatever it is, it's definitely not a southerly because the wind is hot as, but in the dairy here, right? This is an old dairy set up. Now, what used to happen, the cows would come in here in their gates and then they'd bring them in either side up here, and the farmer would be in the centre here and put the cups on the, the cows to milk them as they went through, and the lines used to run up and across the roof into um, the vat and everything which was in that room. But since we've turned it into a bit of a living area, there's your workbench and stuff. And the old sort of alleyway down the centre is just for a bit of storage. So we're gonna get the kids, a few kids get all that old Rio and Gal steel out of there. And then we'll yeah, get it, we'll no. get a shovel and we'll clean all the dirt out and then we'll hose it out. Now the one issue I've got there's a drain down the bottom to drain it all. But I'm just gonna shove a shove a towel up in the pipe. Um, as a plug, and then I'll be able to reach in and pull that out to drain it. And there you go, this hose down here, that's all bore water fed by that windmill up on the hill up there. So it gets pumped out of the bore into the tanks, and then it's fed up through here into a pump. So <laughs> I'm quietly excited actually, I reckon this is going to be sick. I might set this GoPro up with a bit of a time lapse, and you can see how the transformation happens from old dairy farm to swimming pool. Oh. Come around here where the pump is. Um, this one here, this is a big valve to pick it up from the windmill. So you turn that on, then all you're gonna do is plug the, the pump in to here. Turn it on, let that form up, and then that hose out here will work. All right, a couple of rinse outs of the dairy. I reckon it's pretty damn close, but I need to plug up the drain. I think the best idea I can come up with is to use towel. one of our beach towels. I'm just gonna fold it and roll it up. It's like a microfiber one. I reckon by the time I roll this up, it should be just about the right size to fit in that pot there. Might not. Is that good? Oh, that's not good. It's gonna go down the drain. Look at that. Oh, it fits. You reckon that'll be enough? Yeah. yeah. I'll leave it hanging out a bit like that. That way, when we want to drain it, because I'll have to drain it every couple of days or it'll go all gross in here, I'll just pull the beach towel out and she'll drain out. You know you're going to have to swim down here. That's all right. Do you want to have a go at it? I'll, I'll swim down. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Let's start filling it up, oh, boys. No, we've got our water pistols. <laughs> we got these for this. Let's go. Spray Moment of truth. Here we go. I'm just going to paint this on. Let it, uh, let it go. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> hey, it might have taken a few hours, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me, all I grab a beer. Jeez, I've got something stuck in my throat. I sound a bit funny. Anyway, on the middies. Pool's full, mate. I'm going to come and jump in, crack a tin. It's still pretty hot. There's a storm coming over. Hey, it's probably like 35 degrees and it's five and a half, though. But check it out. Look at this. We've got a swimming pool, Ruba. Guess what? Um, guess what? 
So it was really hot. As soon as we got out of the pool, now it's starting to be cold already. Yeah, because the storm's coming. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm jumping in. It's even got a deep end, like a pool. It's deep up this end, and then it gets shallower up the other end. So there you go. Ah, what a good way to spend the Arvo. Hang on a second. All right. Ah, can't do that one end. There we go. Cheers, guys. Swimming pool in the dairy. <laughs> I'm quietly proud of myself. <laughs> what an idea. the best idea I've ever had. Hey, Rui. I've got a serious question for you. Yeah? How good today? Great. <laughs> More than great. How many times have we been in this dairy and we've never made a pool out of it? Um, what were we thinking? Nothing. Huh? We no idea. This is time. We've even got tunes. Look at this. The old fellas and they used to uh, milk the cows in the morning and have the old tunes playing. Got the barbie over here. We're going to have a sausage sizzle. By the pool, mate. I was always wondering what I was going to do for Australia Day this year. Well, guess what? This is what we're doing for Australia Day. All right, well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that one. A little bit of an insight into life on the farm when we stay down here at Victoria. And Becky, you've only got a few to go. I know. I've got five shifts left to finish my uni placement and I'm qualified registered nurse. I'm so excited to finish and we hit the road in literally six days. So you wait. Every Sunday is going to be a new destination from us and I'm pumped to get back out there. It is, mate. I can't guarantee actually every Sunday I can guarantee it for oh, fortnight. Oh, sorry, yeah. But oh, I'm going to try my hardest to do some fillers in between yeah. and um, keep them rolling this year. And we well, hope you found that code word in there. Uh, it's one of my favourites. <laughs> Head to Instagram, chuck it in, and um, you'll have a chance to win. Like I said, we're going to keep the giveaways rolling this year because we love your support, guys. <laughs> you and it's a way for us. It's a way for us to give back to you for all the support that we get. So thank you very much. Hey, um, next episode, we'll be out of here, mate. Uni will be finished. <laughs> we'll be back on the road. Can't, Can't wait to show you. Oh, Can't wait. So excited. So see you, Bear. <laughs> <laughs>